Hey guys, welcome to workout number one of the pyramid series. I'm going to give you a quick overview of how it's going to work. You got 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for five movements. You'll then have a 25 second break. We'll go to 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, five movements. We'll work our way up to 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest with five movements. We'll stay at the top. We'll do 40 seconds of work again, uh, five movements, 10 seconds break. Then we'll go down to 30, then 20. Now, to complicate things, we're going to alternate movements. So the first five movements are going to be all upper body. The next five are going to be lower body. If none of this makes sense, that's totally fine. Just follow along. We're going to start out 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, upper body. Before you get started, click right here so that you get warmed up, activated, ready to go. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss future workouts here on this channel. If you're warmed up, ready to go, we're going to start this. Here we go. You are going to do close grip push-ups. So we're here. If you have to go from your knees, that's fine. Keeping it nice and tight. We're going to work those triceps as we press up and down. Remember, we got 20 seconds of work here. Good job. As soon as we're done, we have another movement. That's going to be the hollow body movement. So we're going to stay on the mat. And done. Good job. Right in my face. All right, so you're gonna be on your back, hollow body movement. We're gonna go hands over the head. Remember, you can always bend the knee if you need to. Here we go. So knee can be bent here. It's like an upside down banana or a rainbow. You're here, belly button pushing to the ground, hanging out, 20 seconds of work. And as soon as we're done with this, we got scat press, so we're gonna stay on our back. You're gonna start shaking, it feels good. Good, well done, okay? From here, we got the scat press. We're gonna drive our elbows into the ground. We're gonna lift our shoulder blades off. From here, pressing down, pause, back down. One of my favorite movements. We did a lot last series. You're gonna do it again this series as well. And press, good, you got 10 seconds. I like lifting my arms up, pressing down, tucking that chin. Good work. Good. Okay, we got planked push up. So we're going to be in this plank position. We're going to go down into a forearm plank and then back up. Here we go. Spread those feet. Keep those hips nice and still. Lifting up and down. Nice and controlled. You can alternate hands each time if you want to. Do the best you can with this. Pressing up and down. Good job. Well done. Okay, back to your backside. We have toe touches. Feet up. Here we go. And we're touching. In my case, you got the ankle touches. Always belly button to that spine. Touching nice and controlled. Good work. Good, done. Okay, catch your breath. You have about 25, 30 seconds here. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna go up. Everything's gonna be 30 seconds work. Now we're gonna switch it though. It's gonna be all lower body. So we got five movements here. It's gonna be lower body. And it's gonna be 30 seconds work. A little different. And let's see if we can do this properly. All right, we're gonna get started. Here we go. The first movement that we got is gonna be reverse lunges. And go. So stepping back, 30 seconds of work, chest stays high, nice and controlled. This is where if you wanted to weight load it, you can always weight load it with dumbbells, kettlebells. You can have bands if you need to. So nice and easy, getting off to a good start, stepping back and replacing. You got less than 10 seconds. Good. And done. Okay, we got squat hold next. Chest is gonna stay high, weights back in those heels. Quick 10 second break. Here we go, dropping down. Chest stays up. Turn towards you. You got this big day today. New workout, new series, 
for me, today is a Monday. This will be released probably on a Monday. So be ready for it. Tack the day. Come on, stay low. Feel that burn. As soon as we're done, we're going to go to the mat. We got glute bridges. You're going to lift up, pushing through the heels and the balls of your feet. Here we go. Pressing down and back up. Good, nice and control. Push through those heels. Squeezing the glutes. You feel a little hamstring engagement as well. Pressing down, pressing up. Good. Tap and go. We're halfway there. Feel that burn. Well done. As soon as we're done here, we're hopping to our feet. We got skater hops next. Good, well done. All right. Side to side, two options. You can always tap that back foot to help stabilize, or you're gonna lift up as you go back and forth. Tap and go. We're moving. I love that you guys are here doing this with me. Helps me get my cardio in, get my workout in. I hope it does the same for you. We could go on and on about all the health benefits of working out. Good. Good. Okay. We're going to go kneeling to standing. This one's the deceptively challenging movement. So you're here. If you need to hold on to something, you can. Side of a couch, countertop, back down. And we're going to stay in this low squat position. Okay. As you come up, back down. Good work. When we finish this movement, you're going to catch your breath. You're going to grab a drink. You have about 30 seconds. We're working our way up to 40 seconds of work next. Good. Quick drink. So you did 20 seconds, 30 seconds. We're at 40 seconds now. We're going to go back to upper body. little bit different of a workout here give you some variety definitely a different time format all right to your feet here we go or i'm sorry back here on the mat we got close grip push-ups if you have to go from your knees that's fine if not full progression we're gonna go 40 seconds I think all the upper body ones today are going to be on the mat, which is typical. Good work. 20 seconds. If you do go from your knees, the hips have to come with. If not, a full progression, lead with that chest. Squeeze at the top. Well done. Good. And we're still going to maintain that 10 second rest. From here, we got the hollow body hold. Hands over your head, legs out, shoulders off the mat, belly button into the ground, hang in here. Remember, one knee can come in, makes it a little bit easier on your lower back. If not, we're here. You got 20 more seconds. You versus you right now. Come on. It's for the full benefit. If you've been with me long enough, you know what that means. We're in this together. Good work. All the way to the end. Good. Okay, from there we got the scat press. 40 seconds of work. We'll go arms up, feet flat. Driving the elbows in and pressing up, back down. Well done. Focus on pinching your shoulder blades together as you come up. You will feel your midsection engage as well. 
Good work. End up. Fight through this. You're almost there. Good. Okay, plank push up. We're in that forearm plank position. And we're gonna work our way up into that plank position, the push up plank position, and back down. Spread the feet, get a good base to support so we're not swaying those hips. Great job. And up. Well done, you're down to 10 seconds. Good. And then last but not least, we have the toe touch. I'm gonna have a slight bend right now on my knees. I'm gonna reach up, I'm gonna touch my shins. I am not very flexible when it comes to trying to touch my toes. If you are, that's impressive. And just get a controlled pace here. It's not a race. We're gonna do a lot of reps here in this 40 seconds. Focus, belly button into the spine. Good. Shoulders off and back down. I don't even know why I call it toe touch. It should just be ankle touch shin touch not flexible touch good job okay catch your breath you have about 25 seconds we're going to go to the other side of the pyramid at the top so we got 40 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest can be all lower body and now we're going down the pyramid so don't worry it's all going to balance itself out with upper and lower but now we have the long 40 seconds of work of the lower body portion here. So first movement is going to be reverse lunges. Here we go. I'm going to go from the side here and dropping down. Good work. Well done. Remember if you do have a weighted vest, this would be a perfect workout to do it as is all the workouts. Also, if you are walking, hiking, on the treadmill, jogging, whatever it may be, feel free to use that vest as well. Makes things a little bit more difficult. Burn a few more calories, get that heart rate a little bit higher. Good. 10 second break here, we got squat hold. All right, let's do this. Chest stays high, weight back in those heels, and we're down. Try the best you can to get to parallel from your ankle to your knee to your hip. At any time, if you have to come up, shake your legs out, feel free to do that and come right back down. Chest stays high, arms can go out, kind of allows you to counterbalance the movement. Good, 10 more seconds. As soon as we're done with this, we're gonna be on the mat. We got glute bridges next. And done, great job. All right, pushing through those heels, squeezing the glutes. And we're up. Good. done if you are new here as well for the series i want to reiterate all workouts fall somewhere in between the beginner intermediate some might be a little more advanced but for the most part you got progressions regressions we're going to modify things for you if needed so just be sure to follow along and do the best that you can and push yourself good well done 
Okay, to our feet, we've got skater hops, two options. Remember, you can touch with that back foot or you're just gonna slide back and forth. <clears throat> here we go. Couple more here at 40 seconds, and then we're going down. It'll be 30 seconds work. Good work. Tap and go. That's where you can pick up the pace if you want to. This is really probably one of the only cardio movements today. More of a strength workout here. The rest in the series will be a mix. Well done. Good. Okay, we got kneeling to squat. I should say kneeling to like a standing squat. Here we go. And we're up, squat, back down. Squat hold, back down. Get a good pace. Staying low. Well done, less than 10 seconds. Keep pushing yourself. Feel that burn. Good, well done. Whew. Catch your breath. You're done with the 40 seconds. We're working our way down. We got 30 seconds. It's gonna be all upper body on this one. So the first movement we're gonna do is gonna be that close grip push up. Thirty seconds here. Close grip push-up. Here we go. From your knees, if you have to, you're gonna lead with that chest. Hips have to come with, or we're full. Well done. Ten seconds to go. Good, I'm done with that. Hollow body hold. 30 seconds. Hands up, arms out I should say, legs out, belly button down. This is the last upper body round. Good work, 15 more seconds, you got this. Bend the knee if you need to. If not, stay with me. Well done. Good job. That was good. Scat press. Feet flat. I'd start the arms up. Here we go. And then press. Back down. Squeezing the shoulder blades. It's gonna be hot today, gang. Not a cloud in the sky, for sure. Triple digits today here in Phoenix. Stay inside. Well done. Okay, we got plank to push up. 30 seconds of that. Here we go, starting in the forearm plank, now into the push-up plank, back down. Switching hands each time. Halfway. Done. And on our back. Ankle touches or toe touches, 
or knee touches, whatever it may be. Push the belly button <clears throat> into the spine. Good. You got 15 seconds. Controlled, shoulders up, belly button down, chin tucked, and you got this. Good. Catch your breath. Last thing we got here will be 20 seconds of lower body, so it's gonna go quick. The word of the day today is gonna to be challenge. You guys are up to the challenge today. I don't think we've used that word yet, have we? I don't think so, so we're using it today. Challenge, word of the day, leave that in the comment section so that I know that you completed the first pyramid workout of this series. Starting out, we got reverse lunges here. Ready, let's do it. Only 20 seconds, so we've made our way all the way down to the end. Good. As soon as we're done here, we got the squat. Hold. Done. Good work. I'll demonstrate here from the side. Chest up. Here we go. Arms out in front. We got glute bridges after this one. So you will go to the mat. Well done, well done, well done. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Great. Have we used challenge as a word yet? I don't think so. I don't know why I think we have, but... Today was a challenge. It was a good challenge. 20 seconds here. Push through those heels. Squeeze that glute. Both sides. Well done. To your feet. Let's get her hops. <clears throat> as quick as you can go, soft feet, tap side to side. And we'll pick it up. Let's go. Well done. And kneeling to squat. Finish this and then go on your way. I had a perfect Monday today. At least for me it is. And up. And back down. Switching legs each time. Staying low. Good work. So, that was workout one. We got plenty more in this series. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any more workouts here in this series. And then also, remind me if we've used challenge as a word or not. We'll see you at workout two. Thank you so much for doing this. Have a good rest of your day.